Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. Sunday long play. Back to the Talus Principle 2. Last week, we uh, tackled Orpheus Ascending here. All those fun little laser puzzles. We're mostly done with that. I think there's like the three little extendo ones uh, after the main bits. We'll take care of those another time. But we'll start on Isle of the Blessed tonight. Uh, Puzzle-driven adventure set on a stunning Caribbean island. Fresh, medium difficulty puzzles. Culminating in the hexahedron. All right. Sounds good. I'm into uh, medium difficulty puzzles, I suppose. Um, be good for this weekend. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. Today we obeyed kings and bent our necks before emperors. Today we need only the truth, follow only beauty, and obey only love. Oh, that's a nice quote. I guess. All right. What's what's the story here? What's the in-universe explanation for this Caribbean island being overtaken by puzzle? Not that I'd complain, really. Caribbean's beautiful. We're approaching the island now. Looks nice. Nice. A lot less threatening than the megastructure. <laughs> I, I mean... A lot less threatening than the murder no, pyramid. <laughs> yeah, it's just... <laughs> Less pointy. No offense taken. <laughs> I hear Barzai has done an incredible job creating this exhibition. Barzai. What a lovely opportunity to spend some time together as a family. So, Yakut, Miranda tells me you'll be solving some of the puzzles. <laughs> Did she? <laughs> um, I, I haven't really thought about it. But, um, you know, oh, no. Back in my day, all we could do was solve puzzles. That's right, in the simulation. And we're all very grateful for it. So you know how important puzzles are. <laughs> oh to no, you could Mom, put on the spot. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna solve all the puzzles. Oh no. Even the freaky giant cube. I hear Barzai's even created gold puzzles and star puzzles. <laughs> it's going to be just perfect for yeah, you. Yeah, oh man. That's great. Really twisting that Yay. knife in Yakut's back. <laughs> Oh, incredible. What? I'm the founder. Everything I do is serious. Oh, you're cute. I can confirm that. Are we going to be taking control of Yakut here? Because I feel like he couldn't do these on his own. I'd feel really bad leaving him to do it on his own. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see ya. We're just getting the lead into this set of puzzles here, so, uh... Apparently Yakut's going to be doing them all, or we're going to be doing them all as Yakut. Either way. I'm so oh shit, Byron's here too. Hello, uh, Mr. Mayor. How are things on Barzai's island? Barzai seems pretty pleased. 1K and Melville got here this morning. 1K's already solved all the puzzles, That's 1K for us, right? And Melville's... somewhere. She was testing the <laughs> sensory receptor upgrade. Al's here, too. I... I haven't talked to him yet. You should do that. Uh, maybe later. Ah. <laughs> relax, enjoy yourselves, and I heard you were going to be joining in the puzzle. Oh, man. He can do whatever he wants to. You don't have to solve puzzles to impress me, Yakut. <laughs> no, no, I, I... Are you I kidding? Can't... I love puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, good luck, and we'll see you around. Ah, fuck. <laughs> So wait, the implication here is that we, 1K, us, ha have already solved all these, and now it's going to be Yakut's turn? Oh boy. There's only so much we can do, I guess. Okay, well, let's, let's do it. <laughs> Our goal is to impress ah, Miranda. Oh no. Welcome oh to my no. Exhibition. Freedom from necessity. Hmm. There are many puzzles for you to solve here, inspired by the events that restored Athena to us. But the most important thing you have oh, to keep dear. in mind is their purpose, which, which is, is none. none. <laughs> Excellent. Not here because of voices in the sky or tragedies of the past, but because we choose to. All right. Puzzles. Puzzles, puzzles for puzzles' sake. You know what? Voice. I can be into that. It is beautiful. And it is human. 
I can be into that. That's as good a reason as any. So, uh... Looks like we'll be dealing with some lasers. That's good. I like lasers. Let's get right into it. Puzzle one. Green puzzle one. And behind the curtain. Oh, you okay. You can do this. Yeah, you coot. We sure can. <laughs> Don't worry, you coot. We'll help you out. <laughs> Alright, this sphere, is, sphere of influence bits. The activators. Okay. Alright. Hey, I'm gonna go up and I eat them. Let's see. Alright, I have to remember how to use these. Last time we are purely using lasers. I think it's just a matter of, oh yeah, let's uh, power that bit up and that opens that. Now we got a little laser bit. Alright. Everyone's coming up your coot here. Oh, we get a little disruptor jammer thing, right? Huh? Let's see? Okay. Uh. Alright. Oh, there's a ladder in there. That's interesting. In case you get yourself jammed up, that's fine. Okay. Clearly they want me to use this back here, right? But how they want me to get that back there? Hmm. Sharp an angle can I cut with this? And it doesn't go through the bars, right? No? Okay. Oh, I think I see. Right. <clears throat> in the position that it's in. We can do this. And then we can yoink that. Oh, but I probably need to move it slightly so that it also covers firstly that, right? So that it also covers this bit here. Yeah, now those two are set. And then we can use the jammer on this one. See? You could, you're doing it. You're doing it. First step. As you coot here. <laughs> That's it. I did it. <laughs> yes. I'm so surprised you're stupid. Of course you did it, you coot. You and only you did it, you coot. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Yeah, I did the whole hinty thing at the at the beginning of the previous pack we did last week as well, which was kind of funny. But I guess if you were just jumping into this for the first time without playing the main game, it would be important, right? You're like, hey, yeah, this is what this stuff does. I'm like, yeah, okay. That's nice, but we know. We know. Alright, let's try green too. Snatchback mover. Oh, that sounds a little dirty. Um, okay, what do we have? We've got a button, We've got a red receptacle here. Oh, freestanding laser bit. Mm, there's the red source. There's one of the tunnel bits, right? Oh, link that through there. Which color is that? That's red already, so. Bonk, bonk. What does that do? That opens that up. Um, wait, we can shoot lasers through this, right? Yeah, okay. That really just means we don't need that. Just do that. Invert to blue. Connect there. Hey, look at that. Oh, except there's a third one. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Well, that means there's another connector. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what's going on here. We yoink that for now. Oops, I'm gonna move that to there. And then I'm gonna uh, 
Actually, wait, what am I going to do with this? We can't do that here, can we? No, we can't. Um, but... Well, wait, I just need to do it like this, right? I'm gonna do it like that, I'm gonna have that connected, that'll open, and I'll just kinda yoink it through. And that opens, right? Yeah, easy. Good job, you two, two for two. <laughs> this place is so exciting. I don't know what to do first. What are you guys doing? Athena and I are down by the beach. You're welcome to join us if you want to. All of you. I'm still testing the sensory receptor upgrade. Want me to help? Maybe we can compare. Monkey's got a voice! Sure. If you want to experience some really weird input. I'm trying to find a nice view. Hold on, is Yakut the only one doing puzzles? <laughs> Welcome to my world. Ah! Uh, he did say he I don't sound like that though. Boo! I think I'm going to try swimming. Or diving, I suppose. I don't think I float. <laughs> Damn. I really should have gotten that insulation upgrade. <laughs> I haven't been watertight in a while. Boy. Oh no. I don't know how I feel about 1K having a voice though. Like, that's us. And I don't sound like that. But whatever. I guess DLC gotta accept a few changes. Alright, so Athena and Cornelius are at the beach. Melville's off doing Melville things. Miranda's going for a swim or a dive or- Oops, what's that? What did I just highlight there that it was- Oh, here. <clears throat> Access the hexahedron, you must power up all three lighthouses by solving eight puzzles in each section. Simple. Very simple. Alright, well, we're two out of 24 then, I suppose. On good pace, right? Just have a look around before we dive into some other ones. Oh, we got some... Okay, we got some fancy uh, monument puzzles too, huh? Uh, hopefully Yakut is of the mind to uh, take photos of shit. Okay, he is. Good. We've got that for us later. Oh, there, right, there was some social media crap here. Um, blah, 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 rules, yeah, yeah, yeah. Extinction Prevention Working Group, huh? Well, yeah, there's a number of species that are threatened by non-anthropogenic factors. Doing dying out due to being out competed, failing to adapt, blah 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 blah. Um Supials. I remember Ugh, Doge. Gross. I remember what his voice sounded like. Did they have a voice? I don't remember. Um Black Coast people spent a lot of time considering the reality of extinction. We've got some over a thousand's in here now. Okay, so 1K wasn't the last one, like, forever. And a lot of times, there's the sad, it's to be the last of your own kind. Cosmic horror. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, and then Purple, right, he had the weirdo, like, surfer bruh voice, right? Yellow incarnate. Um, oh yeah, Yakut and Miranda are still dating. Like, Yuk here, when we go back to the main screen, I'll show you. It's pretty funny. Uh, it is very exciting about all the new options. <clears throat> I'm sure you all remember the Pellegrino Centipede. Ew, gross. Um, we're going to be requiring any desired alterations to <laughs> some basic safety tests. Floating some approved templates you can use in the body designer. Um, anyway, to try the new anti grab your own body. Oh, that sounds kind of fun. I don't need new bodies. You need to learn to accept ourselves as we are. Keep your body just as long as you like. So, eh, that's fine, that's fine. Uh... Under the real Thecla. People change. I don't remember Thecla. Maybe the, like, the argumentative one. Wormhole travel safe. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, the planet sounds ex uh, exciting. I'm pretty sure I'm good against it, but blah, 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 blah. Peace out. What are the chances you get blown to some of the reins? I don't know. You know, you can just back yourself up. Doesn't work for me. I believe in continuity of consciousness. Yeah, okay. I think I'm with Fred on that one. Uh, perception drivers still have trouble handling transition, so you'll experience this orientation if you're going through in a ship. It suggests turning on sleep mode or at least disabling visual input. <laughs> it doesn't sound encouraging. 
All neurons are using at the moment are based on pre-existing patterns in the fabric of reality. They're completely stable. However, if you make a fuss and going through, I may disagree with myself. If says they're safe, then we know they are. Um... Have we? Wait, okay, so we're, we're Yakut now, right? Has Yakut gone through wormholes? I feel like that's a lie, but hey, you know. <laughs> Heroism. Yeah, his his refusal to do puzzles is very heroic. Um, okay, cool. We did it. Oh, and there's a separate little bit. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I didn't even notice these before. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. So they... So there must have been, like, a, a bit of a time skip going on here. I guess 1K stepped out of the weird machine, right? And then we brought Miranda back, and we reconstituted Serapai just last week. And now they've gone to other planets, apparently? Yeah. And a wormhole onto another world. Okay, well, things progress very rapidly. Um, it won't stop. Oh boy. Are, are these the two, like, cranky robots? No. Which one are the? I don't remember those two. Whatever. Oh, hey, there's Melville. <laughs> I like Melville. Uncle Byron. No, don't call... Yeah, don't call Byron. <laughs> don't call Byron. Uh... Oh no. Oh man. Apparently Yakut dances too. Oh, that's gotta be thrilling. Hey, and there's one K doing the rounds, I guess, right? <laughs> Incredible. Okay, anyways, um so yes, Yakut and Miranda are still dating. Where does it show my goal? Uh where does it show the goal? Like, it popped up the little... Here, let me... Ah, uh, don't show it anymore. But you know how it used to pop up the little goals when you got to a, a new area? The one that popped up for Yakut here was Impress Miranda. And that was after being bullied into doing these puzzles by pretty much everyone else. So, you know, I guess that's what we're doing. We're impressing Miranda. We are channeling 1K and impressing Miranda. Uh, the loop. Okay. Yeah, we'll... We'll charge you a bit here. There's the red source. There's the red receptacles there. Another red receptacle. And... Okay, that's it, huh? There's a button there. Oh, and a teleporty bit. Oh, no, a teleporty bit. Okay. Well, you like this. Go in there. Charge that up. Uh, set that out there. No, I don't need that there. I need, uh... Here, I need that to go there so we can teleport back out. Uh... Right? Yeah, there we go. So we can teleport back out here. With the accumulator in tow, right? Then we can go zap, zap, and possibly zap there. Oh, interesting. That uh, that did that. Okay. Well, let's yoink this, and I think this will. Oh, that just undoes that. Oh, but can I not? Oh, I was gonna just... Come on, we can just turn this sideways and put it through there and then just go teleport over there, but no. Yeah, no. Alright. Um, what's connected to... Oh, uh, it is connected to that. Uh, okay. I mean, I think I see what's going on here. You know what, let's do that. I'm gonna yoink 
this here. Am I gonna yoink that there? Because if I pass it through there, it's not gonna be able to hit that. Is that is it? I guess we'll find it. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah it does. Okay. Well, I kind of uh, reversed that a bit then, didn't I? Alright, let me do this. Yoink that. Yoink that. Yoink that. Uh, back out here. And then do our thing here, right? Oops. I disconnected. That was good. That's a good idea. Shit. Now I'm gonna have to undo this a bit. Oh well. Alright. That. That. Uh... Oops. Actually, wait, can I just do it like that? No, of course I can. Ah. Alright. Oh, I didn't even need to, need to do that. Just go like this. That right there, so I can grab that. Reconnect that. Doink that. Put that there. Uh, oops. Reconnect that. I can put this out here. And do that. That. Connect up those two. Uh. Right. I need to do this, right? It doesn't matter if I do it that way. Do that. Keep that kind of powered up, doesn't matter. Oh, ex no, I need this outside, right? That was the deal. Put this out here so I can reconnect the shit, right? Actually, I don't remember what I was doing. Um, right, I need to keep it connected while I do this. That was the deal. So yoink that like that, right? So then I can uh, teleport back in here. Uh, set that up there. That's now being held open. Um, then I need to set this back out here, right? And then I need to not disconnect what I did before. Set this through here. And then that goes, yep. And we can teleport out and go press the button. Boop. Yeah, I fucked it up a little bit in the middle there, so I had to back backtrack a little bit. Yep. What does the air smell like? It. Oh. Oh. Uh. I smell iodine. Limestone. Is that UV? Can I smell radiation? <laughs> you can, but you're looking at a painting and telling me what the paint's made of, not what's in the picture. Oh, like you what care, Melville. It, feel like? <laughs> it feels like summer. Like, like the day is still young, and there's endless possibilities ahead of us. Oh, man. What we are now is only the beginning and there is so much more to discover and to become and i think those dolphins are mating <laughs> are supposed to be able to smell that <laughs> right let's smell something else oh come on melville where's your sense of adventure damn it <laughs> uh all right um it's actually telling me the, the various thingabops on our little compass. I always forget that the compass exists there. Oh, right, so there's the, the giant tilty cube. That is apparently missing a green laser hook up into it. Um, found the one sphinx thing there. What's this, uh... What's this other one over here? Oh, it's, a. Uh, is that a Pandora one? 
so laser bits. Okay, need a green laser bit on that one, huh? Well, maybe Puzzle 4 will have an, an ability to go... Oh, I was hoping that was a green source, because we could just go... Boop. No, huh? Alright. Okay, we got a laser bit, we got a button, a red source. Oh, it's a platform. I didn't like the platforms. Just have to deal, though. Okay, I guess we'll at least get it out of its cage. Because then what? Next bit we've got one, two... Oh, I see. Alright. Move that over there. far so we can jump on it, right? For it to do a little bonk. Okay, we still get access to this one too. Uh no. Oh, is that behind a wall? Oh, it's behind a wall. Fucking boo. Uh however, you can just go down here, right? Yeah. Yeah, like just like that. Alright, then we get a cube and a button. And an inverter. And a blue bit. Okay. Uh, well. I, th I think I pretty much know what to do here. Need to move this. Oh, but we can't. Well. Okay. Probably prompt this up on the key, yeah? Will that get it over the... Over the fence bit, maybe? Such that we can then do, uh... Oh, did I put it perfectly behind that post? I sure as fuck did. Good job. Ugh. Alright. Slap it on there. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, it's not... Enough to get over the fence, huh? Damn. Huh? Well. This one, or was this always open? I think this is always open, right? Something else? Oh, probably from the button, huh? Yep, that was opened by the button. Alright, let me yoink this over here then. If I can. I can't. Uh. Alright. Well, then. Hmm. Oh, I've got an idea. Um, okay, this is always open, right? Since the button's on it. Oh, but I need this to be open, too. Uh, yeah, shit. Hmm. Track on this, huh? Let's do all that. I'm gonna put that there. That's gonna stay on. That'll be fine there. I think I just need to sneak one of these out the door. I think I'll just need to do there, yeah? For now. Except I need red to get that 
in there, don't I? Shoot. that open. Um, I might just, just need to do this. Oh, yeah, duh. Now everything is kind of outside. Everything that I need to be outside is outside. But for the time being, I think I need the inverter out there so I can keep that open. This probably needs to go on the button. Uh, I'm gonna hope that I can put the thingamading on... platform. Move this to be like right... I don't know, right there. Oh, stop. <laughs> right there is fine. Oh, except I need to you just kind of reach up and grab... Damn it. <sighs> fine. Open the thing and get it down on the ground there. Now we put that there. And now that's a blue source. Um, will we now be able to target that here? There we go. Excellent. So, Byron. Have you talked to Alcatraz yet? <laughs> yeah, twist yet. that knife on Byron. I didn't want to interrupt them. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Totally believable. <laughs> Rad. Okay, and now we do know that we need a green source, right? To get that thing there. Ability to target a green to there and up to there course, so let's keep an eye out for those and just kind of local ass puzzles here. Theodorian knot. Is that like a Gorgian knot, but more advanced? Um, Alright, so we got a box on a button. We've got a jammer. Got this thing out here can't take with us inside. That's fine. We'll just see what we got here. Got a button there. Ugh. Fan. Oh, goody. Love the fan puzzles. Uh, red source, laser bit there. Blue source there. Two buttons here. Huh? Okay. Well, okay. There's a combo bit there, so this might be the this might be the puzzle which gives us the, the green laser to shoot at shit. Okay. Um, was there anything else in that little area? No. Okay. both red and blue that we can make use of here. Nope. Oh, however, we could always just do it right there. Now it's a green source, but what could we connect it to? Maybe that up there? Yeah. Not target that. Oh, because technically it doesn't act as a source, right? Or it can't act as a transmitter itself. It, we need a different laser bit for that, I think. Well, that sucks. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Okay, I need to somehow disrupt that so we can get the other thing on the other side, right? The box? I could, in theory, target that directly. 
right? Maybe with the jammer? Yes, there we go. Okay. Uh, this is controlling that gate? Yeah, fucking course it is. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I just take this off? Yeah, haha! -ha. <laughs> Yoink! Alright, that's right. Okay, we liberated a box. Now, what is, does this lower this fence here? Okay, good. Um, we need to borrow the jammer again. Then jam the fuck out of that so we can grab the laser bits, right? Or the singular laser bit. Oh, there's another thing over... That's interesting. What's this doing over here? Can I, uh, yoink that? No, it's a fixed one. Hmm. Intriguing. Oh, no, that's not like a little green connector thing, huh? Huh? Oh. Well... Alright, what do I need here? I need green here, yeah? Okay. Which means I need... Blue. There's the red connection I was using here. This one here, probably? Oh, that's not actually a visible from here. Boo. Alright. Um, well, I can do. Uh. Blue source. There it is. I do that. That. Yeah, there we go. Do this, that, and that, put that down right there for now. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put that there. Oh, I need to move that over though. All right, Let's move that over there. Move that there. Oh, uh, it's not close enough though. Oh damn it! Okay. Uh. Oh, maybe this is still work. Okay, let's reverse that. Oh, it does act as a thing. That's fun. Alright, where's the... I need to eject out the green laser there, right? That's kind of on the opposite side of what we need, though. Boo. Okay, I only saw a puzzle. How's it going, honey? Five puzzles down? So far, so good. <laughs> Excellent. Calling you honey sounds weird, doesn't it? It, it yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> then what? Darling? Hmm. Sweetheart? Hmm. Babe? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. I don't even eat food. M maybe just my name? Oh, you're cute. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, okay, where was the thing? It's over there, yeah? I got exact wrong side of it to be here. Is that even the right? Yeah. It's this one, isn't it? Oh no, that's the Sphinx one. Where's the fucking other one? It's over there, right? Or this way. Yeah, it's on this side. Yeesh. Alright, uh... Oh, and can I provide... Green from here? over there. We, like, beam the green out of this one into somewhere else, maybe? Let's 
this, uh... Pull this over here, I guess? Yeah, because we'll have the red source there, right? We've got a green source kind of available. Go back to what one is this? I don't remember which one this one's the turnabout. Okay, yeah, there we go. So now we should have Actually, where was the entrance to that? Up the hill? Okay. Do we have uh, line of sight. <laughs> Wait, oh, see, excuse me, sorry. I don't know that we have line of sight to it, though. Shit. Oh, yeah, I'd be just barely through those trees, probably, but I don't think we've got that. Okay. Yeah, it would need to be, like, really really close over here. Can we do that? I guess we kind of can. Yeah. It's over. Huh. About as close as we're gonna get there. Oh, just barely. Oh, of course something's gonna get in the way. That tree. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we did it. Kind of a shame there aren't any cool aphorisms for collecting stars. Maybe I should come up with my own. Oh no, you could don't. He who questions training only trains himself at asking questions. <laughs> Doesn't quite have a good ring to it, you could. Don't don't do that. <laughs> Uh, okay, I wasn't expecting that to work, actually. I figured there'd be way too much shit in the way, but... Hold it off. Alright, number six. Oh, we get little... palm reader bits, too, huh? Oh, no. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay, reading and stuff. Um, meh. Not as interested in these now that we've cleared the main bits, right? But we'll we'll just pull them up, give them a cursory pull up there, just to make them disappear off the compass. The binary paradox. All right. Okay, we got a button. Cube. What's the button do? Okay, that opens that. A red source. Uh, oh, tunnely bit. A fan, a blue receptacle, a red receptacle. Oh boy. Pulling out all the stops here. Another red receptacle with the Freestanding laser bit there. Ah, another tunnel bit on a button, which I'm sure is going to do that. Yep, of course it is. Can we get to any of the targetable tunnelable bits here from here? No. Alright, we'll leave you there for now then. Oh, and a freestanding laser bit here. Okay. All right, where was that freestanding up there? Kind of do that. We'll need to do that eventually, I'm sure, to get the red laser bit over here. And I don't know, did we notice where the blue? Okay, there's the blue one there. There, we'll do that, so now that gives us access to red. It's like right 
here, I guess. Oh. It doesn't turn on the fan itself, does it? No, we need both of them to be there. Almost certainly means that we'll need to have this up on a on a box. On that box, probably, eventually. Uh okay, well, time being, let's swap this out. Two tunnel bits. Um, can I yoink anything through this hole here? No. What's what's stopping that force field there? It's that deal. It's controlling that. Uh oh, probably this red bit here. That's unfortunate. I need the second laser bit. Where was the second laser bit? Okay, the one there. Ah, the other freestanding laser bit is there. So we need to get red over here. Uh, somehow. Alright, let's swap this out again. Need to get red up there. Just kind of do it from here. Maybe enough, I guess? Yeah, alright. Okay, there's just two laser bits. Means I can curve this around the corner here. Get this open so we can get the box. Alright, and there's the blue source. I need red and blue. Uh, so we've got the two laser bits, right? Where was the, bl the blue sources over here? Yeah? Yep, okay. Um, I guess it should be fine, probably. Alright, I'm going to need the uh, second tunnel bit for this. Need to open up blue source here. Uh, that one needs to stay there. Need red. It's a red to about oh I don't know. Right here, I guess. No, I'll back it up a little bit there. Okay. Uh, well, move this over as best we can. Okay, and then we need to grab blue. 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 There. Oh, come on, really? Oh, right. Yeah, there we go, there. Okay. Oh, that just starts the fan. Um, okay. Oh. oh, that was the end. <laughs> Very good. Ha! I did it. Take that, Barzai. I can hear you, you know. <laughs> Sorry, it, that was a metaphor. It sure was a metaphor. I guess that's the problem with the surveillance state, listening to everything you say, right? It's like, oh, oops. I guess I'm not really alone. Um, okay. That was interesting. Uh, okay. The one that was over there. The other one looks like a little button -y thing, right? Actually, wait, what did that look like? Um, another thing here. Yeah, that is really a fun favorite building the end of our city. We really have to call it New Atlantis? Uh, no, I'd pick a different name, honestly. I think it matters what we call it, as long as we build it right, the universe doesn't care. I'm not calling it Rapture. <laughs> 
sick Bioshock nod. <clears throat> um, I mean, name, honestly, names are just names. Who gives a shit? Superstition and all that. <laughs> ah. Okay, there's a, like, ghost bits around here. There it is. I believe in the creator because I experience a creative force within myself uh -huh. that seems connected to or reflective of something greater. A drive towards being and becoming inherent in the universe itself. The discovery of the theory of everything has not undermined that belief. Or no, uh, to the contrary. I believe that the language of creation reveals a creator who sees no difference at all between mathematics and music, whose suns and planets are notes of a melody, whose galaxies are symphonies. A nebula is a painting, an atom is a machine, and they are all part of a masterpiece. And if I'm mistaken and there is no creator, then the duty of finishing the masterpiece falls to us. Okay. I mean, leave what you want as long as it's not hurt, nobody. I often think about the strange inversion that occurred to the notion of progress. In the waning days of the old world, our ancestors came to believe that progress as applied to society was a myth, a narrative illusion. Despite their world changing around them, they believed that things must stay the same. I indeed, that things never really could change, even if most people wanted them to. Mm, certain yet, things, in the yeah, arts, probably. They began to see progress as the only true value. They no longer asked, is it beautiful? Is it true? Is it fun? Instead, they said, is it new? Does it break conventions? Does it subvert the old? They fashioned forms increasingly alien to themselves, pursuing uh, something they could never find, because they were looking for it in the wrong place. The wrong place, To fully huh? pursue truth and beauty, art must be liberated from the notion of progress. But this liberation could never be accomplished by art itself. Art does not precede the world, and it was always the world that had to be transformed. Hey. Yes. Art imitates life, life imitates art sort of thing, I guess. All right, we've found the hidden puzzle, by the way. Uh, all right, freestanding laser bit, blue receptacle, combo bit. A ladder. Ladder just straight up into there, huh? There's another combo bit. Red source. Okay. Oh, and then the blue source is there. All right, let's, let's start with that. Both combo bits in here. And we need to kind of warp green around to this side. Okay. I think we can do that with what we have. So we've got a blue source there. Uh, oh, well, actually. <laughs> ah, fuck. Uh... this like here give myself some more room to work with um all right so we need blue and red to make green right but it's not gonna just work like that because i can't get the red around that corner right okay Now that makes green, but this can't be just its own little bit, right? It has to be... Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Okay, um... All 
Alright, I have a feeling this is one of those, like, hey, turn this around. Take both of these things out here. And then, uh, open bits up a bit, right? So here we've got, oh hey, red and blue, and it green. Alright, and then we can do, oh hey, red and green make blue. Uh, I think. Oops. I had to hook up the other side of it. Yeah, there we go. And then we can unhook this one. Oh, except I need to do these kind of the opposite way, don't I? Shit. Alright, hold on. Um, because I need green to be accessible. Let's do it like this. Uh, red and blue makes green there. And then... Oh, crap. Uh, same issue. <laughs> Fuck. Uh... I can take that out, but now I don't have access to green without it blocking its shit off, right? That's the whole deal. Uh... I just move this over temporarily. Also a bit over here, actually. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> can we do it like that? Kind of weird, honestly, but give it a try. Uh, <clears throat> or alternatively, can we just kind of put that one in? Oh, except we would need access to blue. It's not gonna work. Oh, we could do it from here. Uh, alright, hold on a second. Let's do... Uh... Uh, wait. <laughs> Fuck. Um... Need access to blue from here, right? Eh. Uh, oh, okay, that's fine. Red and blue and green. And, uh, oops, I think I connected that up correctly. Ah, fuck. Alright. It's here. <laughs> Over. 
Uh, sort of right. Damn it. <laughs> I just need to supply a second. Maybe just need to supply uh, something else here. I'm messing this up, overthinking this, I bet. What do I need out here? I need green, right? Yeah. Sometimes I need red. Or I need, uh, yeah, then I need green and red, right, to make blue. To give, give me blue back, right? That's not gonna work. Green there. Green and oh, red is already fucked up there. I know what I need to do, I just need to get the right order of these. just need this to be open temporarily anyways, right? Then once it's no longer open, it doesn't matter. That's green. Red. Way back in the corner. There we go. Let's need this to get, like over here so that it can be in the corner. All right. Ugh. Put that over a little bit. Think about what we got. Blue. Blue and red over here. Make green. Green is just barely accessible here. Take. 
green and red. It's blue. Should have get this getting the right angle to get all those is probably pretty slim, so that's probably not it. Time being, let's put this, this, this in the corner, and we've got a source of blue here. Which means that we can then do uh, blue and red to make green, right? Oops. And then we can do. Uh, Uh, green, red to make blue. Keep that open, right? Oops. Okay. Uh, but as soon as I yoink that, it all collapses, right? That's the deal. I think it all collapses as soon as I yoink this away. Yep. So then that closes, and then it's no good. Um. I guess the good news is I can blame this on Yakut. As we are playing with it. Um, is there another little gate over here? No, there isn't. Okay. I yank this one out. That doesn't collapse anything just yet. This isn't any different. I still need this. But, I think the good news is this allows me to yoink this one, right? Yeah, and that stays open. So that's fun. Uh, so then what, though? Like, okay, I guess I can supply a source of red over here. But whoop de doo Tarantula Town, what does that gain me? I guess that gets me a source of green, right? I can yoink this here. Go, yeah. Red and blue makes green. And then we can do. Uh, I don't know. Red and green makes blue. Okay. Then so what? <laughs> but then so fucking what? Um. Maybe that's actually important, who knows. I suppose, alternatively, I could do it like that. Back it up a little bit, right? Now, if I yoink that, this still goes away. Right? I don't think I fixed any. Hmm. Well, let's yoink this for the time being. Uh. Oh, well, actually, no. Red, blue, and green. All that shit. Let's put that right there. Move this over. Now, well, it's back. Think about this for a second.
silver ones. Right there. Basically, I need that open. I need that to stay open. I don't know how I can do that. That's set the setup. Let's move this back. So now that's got a source of red to it. Um, I would additionally like this to have a source of red to it as well. Now I think if I yoink that one, it's, it's going to stay, yeah? I don't know if that gets me anything, but... Yeah. Don't think that gains me anything, but that's good to know. Oh, no, well, actually. Never mind, that gains me the fucking world. Alright. <laughs> Works. So how does this coconut taste to you? It's kind of wooden, very crunchy. Mm. Did humans just have weird taste, or is this some function of subjectivity? Without more precise data about the human brain, how do we even know this is what they experienced when they tasted a coconut? Bloody qualia. I mean, I you're supposed to have the inside. Yeah, there you go. No, but I like the crunchy bit. Oh, okay. Does it matter what it tasted like to them? Want to expand the horizons of human experience. I'll create them. Mm, the girl has a point. 1k. Let's try eating sand. No! Don't make 1k eat sand! Melville! But we were friends! <laughs> Damn it! Okay, that was the bonus puzzle, right? We did the bonus puzzle. Alright. Um, okay, where's number seven? Eat sand. It's all gritty and gross. <laughs> oh, and then there's the golden gate thing. Okay, well, it's good to know where that's at. Uh, but number seven is that over here. Ah, huh, right here. Alright, got a fan. Freestanding laser bit. We're gonna have probably a tunnel bit or two. It's like a jammer. There's a red source. Is this detachable? It's not. Uh, okay. Oh, there's just one of the tunnel bits. Oh no, it's the body swap thing again. Ah. Alright. Uh. Okay, prepare by passing things back and forth, I guess, right? Here's a, a thing and a platform and a box. Alright, got a laser bit, got a platform, got a box. Uh, jammer. There's the uh, fan. All right, so what are we going to be able to see from the fan? Pretty much just the laser, probably? Looks like we're going to be able to pass the tunnel bit back and forth. Oh, there's another fan over here. Uh, okay, I think I see. Um, I'm going to need one of the platform bits back, I think. I'll need to do like uh, that, that, uh, control there. We're we gonna be able to put something like on that, maybe. But what? Like, what are we trying to light up here? So there's the red source, right? Here's the laser bit over here. 
Uh, what do we do with the box? There's the box. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, okay, here. Need this to stop that for a bit while I get this set up, I guess. Boxes, laser bits. I don't know where this is going to be connecting to, but I guess we'll just do it like that. Alright. And, uh, I guess we'll jam that pan temporarily. Uh, put this other laser bit here. Put you on top of there. No. No. Might need to borrow that box for a hot second. Excuse me for a moment. Need to do that. Connect up there. Jump up there. Put that on top. Okay. Bar this box again. Keep connections, right? Connect up there. There. Alright. Then unjam. Uh, I'm gonna pre-jam that one probably. For now, I guess. Yeah. Take control. We're gonna walk over this way. Oh, exactly where we're gonna put this laser bit. It's even the, the red receptacle thing. Does it matter? Oh, maybe we're trying to jam that thing? Maybe we're trying to jam this thing. Alright, do that. And, uh... That. And then going the jammy bit away. Oh! Okay! I guess that was the thing. <laughs> Y'all are robots, you probably got locators in you. Alcatraz said the same thing the other day. It's almost like you two are avoiding each other. Almost? Alright. Did it. I kind of stumbled my way into that one, but that's alright. That's good. Solved it. Um, alright. That's so the final normal-ass puzzle. This way. Well, final the green normal-ass puzzles, rather. Oh, neat. They even... Oh, they even give you a... An actual map. And... Is this actually fast travel to these different bits? Oh, shit. That's handy. Oh, wait. Where did I teleport to? Like, teleport back to the hub or something? I guess it's sort of like it. Alright, oh wait, three is this way? Could tell me number eight was that away? Yeah. Oh, is this number no, that's number seven. It's giving me opposing directions for number eight here. Excuse me. Oh number eight, this way. Duh. It's the one with the glowing number eight outside it. Oh hey, is it oh Miranda, hey, what's up? Whoa! Can we talk for a moment, please? We suddenly got a lot taller and... Hey, Miranda, eyes up here. <laughs> I, I think we're... Like, we got stuck standing on something. Uh, of, of course. course. Are you okay? Are you okay? I was just looking at the waves. Uh-huh. Relaxing. And suddenly I started thinking... Am I a terrible person, Yakut? What the... F I caused so much pain. I drove mother and father apart. I almost derailed the entire future just because I was arrogant and entitled and self-important and now I just get to have a cool boyfriend Whoa. and colonize planets and sit on beaches and and how is this fair? <laughs> how is any of this fair? <laughs> um <laughs> Oh, this is the fucking Yakut answer right here. Wait, you think I'm cool? <laughs> oh, I guess we should, if we're playing it straight as Yakut, you think I'm cool is definitely the thing. Um, but if we want to, you know, 
maybe score some points for Yakut here. Um, uh, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. You learn from yours, and that's what matters. That's... I guess that's true. But don't why sound, do I yeah, find it sound so hard Miranda. to accept all these good things that have happened to me? But what about the best thing that ever happened? What about 1K? A pretty good thing to have happened to you, right? Um, uh, anyways, I don't think we spent most of our lives in a world that made it very hard to like yourself. Okay, we'll play this straight. Oh, it's the same I don't for me. It's the same for me sometimes. Then we'll figure it out together. Ah, there we go. That seems like a sensible plan. Hooray! Now, do you want to talk about something else? I'm done being dramatic. For now. Um. I <laughs> Hold on. I want to fix the, like, this is really distracting that she's looking down at something. I gotta go. All right. Gotta go. Love you. Love you too. Okay. Yeah, we got, <laughs> we got up on the fucking thing somehow. That's why. All right. Sorry. Miranda, we weren't done talking. There we go. That's, that's better. That's better. It was a little creepy not having actual eye contact, even though these are all robots. Uh, how are your parents? How are your parents? Healing. I think. Mm -hmm. Still a long way to go, but I'll get there. Mm -hmm. We really should visit. Who was Eustathius again? I don't remember Eustathius. We should really visit Eustathius at some point. Eustathius, whatever. You're right. I've been meaning to get to know him, and he did invite us. Well, there we go. Problem solved. I'll send him a message. Maybe we can go next week. Um. Come up with any crazy new ideas while Did solving puzzles? Crazy new ideas while I was solving puzzles? It's not a new idea. <laughs> but it's still crazy. Came up oh. first, but dinosaur planet. No. Obviously, there were lots of dinosaur species no. over millions of years. Watch but Jurassic Park. We could put together no. a ecosystem that supports all the really cool ones. Uh. I mean, not now, but maybe in a thousand or two thousand years. Oh, is that all? I you like the exhibition. How do you like the exhibition? I listened to some of Barzai's recordings. I'm fascinated by his view of the world. Especially this notion of a creator who is reflected in his creation. I mean, I guess. I'd love to hear him debate Lithrasir. <laughs> if we ever find him. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you invent a litter tray that disintegrates cancer? I would love stuff like can that. You That'd be a fucking great. Tray that disintegrates cat poo. That's a brilliant idea. I can definitely do that. Hell yeah, then do Just it. Just have to make sure it only disintegrates the poo that's outside the cat. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of weird. Otherwise, uh, when you think about the future, what are the dangers that we when face? When you think about the future, what are the dangers that we face? Armies of rogue litter trays mercilessly disintegrating us. No, uh, to be honest, I think it's scale. Uh -huh. The Earth is a tiny place by comparison to the infinite vastness of the cosmos. True. The theory of everything gives us incredible amounts of power, but there are stars out there the size of our solar system. There are black holes of a trillion solar masses, not to mention the anomaly. All right, gotta go. <laughs> right, gotta go. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> oh no, somebody made the murder pyramid out of sand. Can we kick it down? <laughs> Alright. Hey, Athena, what's up? What's up? <laughs> uh, have you done any more research on the anomaly? Research on that anomaly? That's right, we don't need to voice Yakut. Yakut's got his own no. voice here. One of these days, but not yet. For now, I need to learn to live again. Uh, the exhibition. Are you the exhibition? The location is wonderful, and I love Barzai's ideas and themes. But even though I get the point, it's too biographical for me. I can't really look back at what happened and just treat it like an inspirational story. But that's okay. The good thing is that my pain doesn't have to affect everyone else now. And I don't have to feel the weight of the world on my shoulders. Okay. 
You know, I'm just thinking. I You would think a place with a lot of water and sand would be a bad place for robots to just chill out. That seems like a, a pretty big oversight. Anyways, uh, what what I feel like, like being step first to step foot in another world. At first, I wasn't sure it should be me, but 1K yeah? convinced me. Aww. And I'm glad he did. Okay. As for what it felt like, it felt like keeping a promise I made to Alexandra Drennan. She wanted us to reach for the stars. And after all this time, we finally did. Uh, think we'll make, make first contact? Do you think we'll make first contact soon? With aliens, I mean. I don't know. I'm sure there's life all over the universe, and some of it must be intelligent. But the distances are vast, and most of the universe is barren. Yeah. So it might take a few more years before we find another civilization. Ain't it is a lot of space out there again, in space, right? Our wormhole technology still needs a lot of refinement. So who knows what will happen when we finish the next version? Uh, there's a creator. Well, I believe blah. that there's a creator. A mind that made the universe. What do you think? If the language of creation is a melody, could there be a composer? I suppose so. Maybe. But who created the creator? Oh, creators all the way down, huh? Was always there. Why can't the melody have always been there? Is it so much worse if we were created by the inherent beauty of the cosmos and not by a person? Uh. I don't know, but I think we pretty firmly know that us as robots was created by humans, right? Uh, not even free for some time. I think we picked the right path. Free for some time. Do you think we picked the right path? I think it would be dangerous to assume that we can't make mistakes, but they don't have to be the same mistakes. <laughs> we, we can can make entirely new ones. Just part of the human I mean, condition. not wrong, I guess. Okay. Childhood diseases, huh? Oh boy. Oh boy, huh? I don't think we want to go into the subject of childhood diseases. Um, considering how many of them need to be back. Uh, any relationship advice? Any relationship <laughs> advice? I'd love to hear it. Ugh. Yeah, cool. I'm the one who messed everything up. It was all of you who saved me. But... Hmm, my biggest mistake was not appreciating what I had. I don't think there's ever been anyone like Cornelius. He has so much love, so much dedication, and I got so overwhelmed with grief that I almost lost him. Uh huh? It's strange how selfish grief can make you sometimes. Anyways, back to my problem. You. Oh, okay. You know, no matter how much we improve the world, there will always be grief. So when it rolls around, try to remember that none of us can find the answers alone. Okay. All right. Gotta go. Right. <laughs> I should go. <laughs> See ya. Cornelius, how are you doing? <laughs> Hello, Yakut. Oh, boy. Miranda said you're working on a new project. That's right. I'm trying to determine whether it's possible to salvage the individual personalities that were uploaded from Gehenna. Yeah. Uh, Shouldn't that be easy? Now that we basically understand everything? We understand the rules of the universe, but that doesn't mean we have no limitations. There's yeah. a lot of data from the simulation that simply no longer exists. Bonk. If I just fill it in with my best guess, I'm not really recreating the citizens. I guess again. not. I'm Maybe they should have focused no more on their backups and I'm just tested their restores and shit, huh? Similar. All right. Well, uh, sure. Let's go with the deep answer. I think there would be continuity at a deeper level. Something beyond our perception. As long as there are no further questions, this is what I think. Soul, eh? Ah, yeah, well, sure. <laughs> there may be no evidence of such a thing, but I do understand why some people still hmm. believe in it. 
Unfortunately, the mere possibility of something like that existing isn't enough to solve this ethical dilemma. Uh, At least sure. not for me. Sure, I guess. Okay, Cornelius has got some ethics behind him. I, I can appreciate that. Uh, what do you think of this what do you think of the wild Caribbean island thing? I'm not an art critic. I'm just here to enjoy this beautiful island and to spend time with my family. Ah, there you go. Okay. Are you doing okay? How do you see the future of our civilization. Do you think we're doing okay? I'm optimistic. <laughs> not desperately trying to maintain my faith in humanity. <laughs> looking forward to what's uh, next. Yeah. I'm sure there will be some bumps in the road here and there, but yeah, I think we're doing okay. Spoken like a true post human, honestly. Uh, you have any idea what the blah blah blah? Do you have any idea what that anomaly is? I mean, the one that Athena discovered in space. <laughs> Perhaps it's something very eloquent thing genuinely like doesn't it's... account for. Perhaps it's something entirely within the laws of physics, but in some way we haven't thought of. Or perhaps my brother Eustathius is right, and it's evidence of the prime mover. Here we go. Either way, it's a reminder to stay humble. Cool. Great non answer. Uh what's the biggest danger? What's the biggest danger we face as a civilization? I don't know. We're only just getting started, and each era of development has its own challenges. But if I had to venture a guess, I would say solipsism. In liberating the individual, we're making social bonds more and more optional. We will have to learn to choose to be social. Huh? Your dedication to your family is incredibly inspiring. How can I be more like you? <laughs> you yeah, could. But I don't know if I'm really a good role model. I made so many mistakes, and the only reason we're here is because other people picked up the slack. One K. Get out of that, Yakut. <laughs> don't sell yourself short. You and One K. Hey, there we story. go. This Finally, some fucking credit. tragedy, and turned it into a triumph of love and life. That doesn't happen every day. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the dot okay. dot dot? I should. Off you go. <laughs> okay, go on. Get back to puzzles. Get back to Yakut's other other favorite thing, solving puzzles. Oh man. See you, Yakut. Some top tier buttering up. Uh, all right. Oh, well, we're doing number eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Mechanical gyre, huh? Murder, a red source, a red thing, and a oh, what's this? Oh, oh, oh. I back to that. Okay, so we had what? A little tiny window gap thing. She's got the blue source. Oh, and there, there's the thing there. There's the red source. Uh, I imagine there's probably gonna be like a jammer or something. Oh, buried three or four levels deep. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 oh, I see. We've got the uh, opposite bits here. Um. Oh, okay. I get it. Let's do that. We'll take the inverter over here. Yeah, flip, flip, flip. All right, and we need a blue bit here. Oh, tunnel bit there. Red bit there. Okay. Uh oh. I thought there was another. It's not. Uh, okay. I want the. Oh, I think I see. Um, can we not? Ah, of course. Alright, with that kind of connected up, let's see what this does. Like, it's just this, right? And then the, the tunnel bit wall. 
and then that's in solid bits, right? Okay. Um, Here. Okay, here's the jam. Right. Uh, can we do anything with this right now? Can get that. Which I guess is fun. Means that we could eventually get this back around through here, maybe? Nothing, does it? Point this here. I mean, okay, no, 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 no. Right, because we can rotate this around. Uh. Wait, can I? Can I target not this thing? Well, it's no, it's open. Okay, I'm gonna need to be able to yoink this out permanently. Need a blue laser, which means I need that other laser bit on this side. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh. All right. Um. What was the? Okay, that's red. Uh, really, the way to do that would be to do that. Then I also need the uh, inverter bit over on the side too, which I can't especially do just yet, can I? Without you can know, that. That's probably why I need the jammer, so I can do that, you know, it through, and then uh Alright. One problem at a time. there somehow which probably means jamming this thing temporarily so that we can disconnect that one be like oh yeah blah, 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 blah. trying to yoink the inverter through so we can go blip blip get that unlocked get the jammer out of there and then kind of reverse it so we can get it out here uh, oh, okay, you like that temporarily. We'll do that. This back to the little window thing, right? That over. Oh, it's that. Uh, it doesn't help me, does it? So I need red out here. Oh, shit. That means I'm gonna need the other thing to bop anyways, right? Red, red. I can't target this all the way through here. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Um, alright. So that gets us the inverter dil dilabop here, right? Uh, 
okay. That doesn't get me anything else otherwise, right? Because I can't target that. Or can I? Am I, am I stupid? Can I target that anything? I don't think I can, right? Let's see if I can. Oh, I can. Yeah, there we go. Very good. Okay. Now that gets me this thing. Alright. And now I can do kind of what I was doing before. Just kind of block the shit out of that one. That we can then do blue to blue to here. Uh, wait. I gotta do that. Turn that off temporarily. I need to do uh blue to red here and then do like blue to blue here which then gets me the uh crap uh except i'm also gonna need that to do that otherwise as soon as we yoink that that gets out of there okay yeah fuck um Well, can we do it like this then? Let's do uh, blue to red to red. Doing, uh, that's not gonna work. Well, let's do it the other way then. Uh, where's our red? Oh, that's the red source there. Uh, Oops. Oh. I want that. Need this to be blue. Alternatively, need this to be red. Pulse through here, so we can get a little tunnel action going on, right? There we go. Okay, kind of knocks out this part of it. That then gets us a red source, I bet. Yeah, okay. Which would then get us a blue. Well, we already have a blue, right? It's another blue. Uh, 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 so I probably don't want it to do that. I want I wanted it for the red source anyways, right? Red and red and red. Do it like here. We can do the whole inverted shit here. It opens that up. Let's grab the jammer out of there, right? And that would then also, uh, I guess just get this out of here, right? So now let's backtrack this a bit. I think all I really need is the jammer out of this, right? Going this over to not that one, not that one, this one, I guess. I need to take some shit back and forth. Specifically this one, no, not the tunnel bit. This one, so I can get the red and the red and do that. And then we can yoink the jammer and be like, oh yeah, hey, puzzle solved. All right. Excellent. That's all the normal ass ones. Um, it's, the game is lit up over here, but I don't think that's exactly right, is it? I mean, maybe... Not for, like, right, uh, this way. This isn't it all, it's all about, like, the gold shit, right? Yeah, and this shouldn't be open right away, yeah? We need to do the, all oh, right, we need to do three monuments for this. 
Right, there was a thing that we didn't do. Um, trying to find my way back to one of these maps. Here we go. So there's the bridge over to the green tower or whatever, right? Um, we are here. Did all the normal puzzles, we found the secret puzzle. Presume there's, uh... Something to do with that, who knows? Islands, perhaps? Maybe like a little backside of the thing there. Oh, I didn't mean to teleport back. Uh, did I? <laughs> no idea where it's putting me every time we do this. Okay, so we're there. Um, I'm gonna go explore around the, uh, thing a bit. So we did that. We haven't found any, like, switches or something that represent the little Sphinx Monument stuff either, so... That's kind of what I'm looking for, too. Of course, we've done all the normal puzzles, so we could probably do the whole Tetris Bridge thing. Maybe that'll be part of it, too. Yeah, look like there was anything quite matching what we thought we would see, so... Eh, alright, whatever. Uh, okay, uh, things over here. Done something like this, huh? Oh, that's cold snuff, isn't it? Connects up, doesn't it? Yeah. Probably don't want to use the L piece first, honestly. This would also work, but no, it's not the correct side, so of course it doesn't work. Bah. Let's try to use the awkward pieces first, just because I don't want to deal with them. Oh, <laughs> 
Nope. better I think. Yeah, first try. <laughs> uh, there's a second bit to it, because of course there is. Hey, that one really was first try. Alright. What do we got? It's the lever, huh? You've activated the first lighthouse. Well done. Two more to go. Oh, I see. That's what lights up the gigantic cube thing. I get it. I get it. That's why we couldn't target it with the puny individual lasers and the puzzles and shit. Um, okay. There's a new bit here, huh? Flexing fruit, is that it? It's not a coke, is it? Oh, mango. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of mangoes. I just could never... Never get used to the taste of them. Also, they're really tasty. A lot of people seem to like them, but I do not. Um, Alright, ethical ecosystems. Oh boy. Possibility of manipulating ecosystems to lessen suffering. Oh boy. So, uh, terraforming almost. Weather control and shit. Uh, converting predators to herbivores, abolishing octopus senescence. <laughs> Excuse me, it's a very specific topic. Alternate methods of population control. Uh, ecological and ethical complexities of the project. Minimum 100 years before recommending stuff. Um, all experiments already performed at the National Area Downing Research Station to avoid contamination, so wormhole travel will be necessary if you want to participate. Okay. What a very interesting thing to do. But hey, 100 years of research seems like a good start. We haven't found anything that seems to match the pattern of the, the Sphinx bits here. Like it definitely says like it's a switch puzzle or something. Or some weird ass pillars or whatever we had seen earlier in the main game. Let's see, where's one of those bits that gives us a map? Here we go. Uh, alright. It's so all the normal puzzles. We did the hidden puzzle. Did the bridge thing. Actually, was there more on the island itself that we could look at? Definitely wouldn't put it past them for them to hide something out on these big lighthouse areas, too. Can we maybe just walk across to this? So oh. This seems like a really bad idea. <laughs> Does it, Yakut? We're gonna try it anyways. I wanna get over there. Come on, hold your breath, man. You're fine. Ah, oh, come on, we almost made it. <laughs> uh, I mean, in fairness to Yakut, he didn't say it was probably a bad idea, so. I mean, he understood. Um. Feels like it's just barely out of reach, though. As in, maybe we should be able to get over there. Just pick the bad angle at it. Ah, uh, well. Okay. Oh, there is a whole golden gate thing on each section, isn't there? Yeah, that means there's three thingamadings. Three little uh, monument statue things. Oh, hey, look at this. There are those in New Jerusalem who fear that understanding the language of creation is the end of our journey. 
But that is like saying that literacy is the end of learning, when in fact it is totally the beginning. Skipped over that first Only part. now are we really capable of reading the great and terrible book of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> And only now can we start to write our own chapters. Fair, I guess. Okay, well, what's it saying? You see, solve the hexahedron as well as every other puzzle in the exhibition. Three gold puzzles will become available. No prize for solving them, except in your heart. Well, at least they're being straight up with it, right? And you know we're gonna do that, too. Go look for them. Alright, I think this. Oh, hey, look at that. Not that we're gonna need the little Prometheus spark thing, no but shame in using one of these to skip a puzzle. There is a lot of shame, you coots. Except me. And probably Barzai. A lot of shame, Coot. We are not using those. Um, okay, yeah. So Sphinx one, and I don't think another one lit up on our compass, did it? Aside from all the question marks from other areas, so I imagine that the other The other three golden bits are will appear after we do the Murder cube stuff. Um, okay, let's at least toddle on over to either red or blue. Probably blue since it's just over here. Okay, Miranda's got nothing else to say. We kind of exhausted her options there. Very good. Maybe there's nothing else hidden on these other in between bits. Oh, hey, there's another. Uh, Ah, it's one of the, what is that, a Prometheus bit, right? So, follow a spark back here. Yeah, uh, it's pointed all the way the over there. Okay. Which section is that? It's probably considered one of the blue sections, yeah? Okay, well, at least we know what's here. Or maybe that is considered the green one. Who knows? Yeah, whatever. Maybe we'll get to talk to 1K. Wouldn't that be weird? Yeah, okay, I guess we got time for maybe one puzzle here. Smoothie solution. Oh, I like the name of that. Uh, okay, we got red and blue. And a combo bit. Uh, yeah, I guess this is gonna work, huh? Because red and blue makes green. And then red and green makes blue. Perfect. Oh, damn it, there's more to this. <laughs> um... We like technically need to this over here or something. There we go. That gets us another combo bed. Oh boy. All right. And then blue and green makes red. <laughs> and then uh. Oh, 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 oh. Um. What do we need here? Red and blue. No, we need red and green now. Uh, how's that gonna work? Okay, I would like this to move perhaps over here. I need access to a green. So I'm gonna move this over to like here, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Uh, however... <laughs> Move this over here. Move this outside. I need to move this green bit to the outside. Am I going to be able to do that? Hmm. Well, I guess technically I don't, I don't need this green to be here anymore, right? Kind of disconnect that. But I don't think that ultimately helps our, our thing over here, does it? Uh, but 
we might be able to use this to kind of invert shit. So, uh, let's move this kind of over here. Take that out of the loop there. Disconnect that one for now. That one over there. Move that up there, I guess, huh? Oh, wait. That doesn't do anything at all, does it? Damn it. <laughs> I need to move this on the other side. Uh... Uh, blue and green makes red, yeah? And I need red and green. Which I can't do presently. Or do I need to, like, upcycle one of these? Which actually might be the case. This back one. Uh... Red and blue makes green. I think, yeah, okay. That's that's good. Uh now what though? Blue and green makes red. <laughs> uh, that's no good. Um I need to yoink one of these. But if I yoink this one, I think it all collapses, yeah? Yeah. I need to give I need to give this one an alternate green source, right? That's the deal. Uh uh. No, that doesn't work. Um Self some more space. Now we've got blue and green here. That's fine. I need access to the green. We need to just back this up a bit. that, but it's fine. Uh, no, I need red and green, yeah? Yeah. There, just kind of shuffled them about until it made sense. <laughs> Excellent. Hi! Just checking in. How's it going? Are you having fun? <laughs> yes, actually. I just solved my tenth puzzle. Not too shabby. Has <laughs> Byron talked to Alcatraz yet? No. Still nothing. I don't even think they're angry at each other. I think they just have no idea where to start. Like, Possible. Do you remember how long it took you to ask me? <laughs> I actually wanted to ask you out from the moment I heard your voice, but uh, 
you were, you know. Blown to bits? Trapped in a digital netherworld. Yeah, yes. <laughs> a bit of an obstacle, but I'm glad I managed to find the courage to ask you out. So am I. Oh, very sweet. Okay, um, where is, so we crawled across to this bit, right? Where was the Prometheus bit pointing at? I'm curious if this is other thing now over here was considered part of the green or the blue section now. Well, it's pointing like all the way the fuck over here, yeah. Like right over here. Oh, I think I see it. It's underneath there. Doing underneath here. Ugh. Yeah, there it is. Oh. Oh, it's just a spark thing. I thought that was the actual bit that we need to chase down. I guess those look a little purpley, yeah? It's a nice cold over here. Oh, that's considered deep water, though. You coop! Swim! Ah, fine. to a news group de designated alt.noematics.moderated. Oh, they were still using news, news groups back then. Usenet. I guess that's still running, yeah. Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I read idiotic software. <laughs> oh, that's too true to life. Uh, I'm already obsolete. See much in the world is transformational power, blah, 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 blah. Time is a luxury, etc., etc., and then. <laughs> Alright. Interesting. Who are you? Alright. Uh, who do you want to be? Not enough money, not enough time, not enough power, not enough will. Hmm. Okay. I mean, that's, uh, it's a thing, isn't it? <laughs> Wisdom, acceptance, letting go, and humility. You ask why. Is there too wise, cynical to ask such questions? Blah, 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 blah. Why is this good enough? Yikes. That's pretty fucking deep. I'm ready to deal with that right now. Thinking tab will bring up the map. It doesn't. Ah, there's an actual path we need to follow to get up there, huh? Okay. I guess this is the... Okay, that's number one we just did, yeah. Okay, that's actually a pretty good place to stop then. So we did nine of the ten green bits. Uh, the last one is probably the uh, golden gate thing. Right? And we did one of the blue bits. So that pre preps us up for next time. We'll call it there for, for today. And resume this next week. Uh, so that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night. 7 p.m. CDT, we'll be back to Wizard of Legend. And then Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT, probably more Wizard of Legend, assuming we make appreciable progress tomorrow. Uh, Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CDT, it'll be Shmup Book Club. So more um, Spriggan 2, or Spriggan Mark 2, rather. Uh, Radiant Silver Gun, I think, is still going, and then we've got Universe, the uh, Gradius fan game to pick up, perhaps. Friday, Saturday, we're off, and then next Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, you'll be long play. So back to Tal's Principle 2 here. Um, still keeping a relatively good clip, knocking out a significant section per night. Um, last week was obviously the, the previous bit, Orpheus Ascending, but this time we've got 
uh, way more puzzles to deal with. Some are a bit more thinky. Which is fine. Which is fine. That's what we expect out of Tell's Principle 2 here. But that'll do it for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.